everyone, hi, welcome, good afternoon because I just started a little bit late this vlog but Welcome to another weekly reading vlog Well, it's not gonna be weekly because I'm gonna be reading two of my most anticipated reads of the year Kind of, I don't know, you will, you will see the point in a bit The first one is Heartless by Maurice Mayer I know this book has been out for a little while now but I never got a chance to buy it the hardcover has always been super expensive and I wasn't about to spend $30 on a hardcover but I found it super cheap online and I decided to go for it and I've been wanting to read this forever my friend Lucy loves it and she was so excited for me to pick it up so I cannot wait to start it, well, I actually already started it. I read like 10 pages. <laughs> Heartless is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. I believe it's kind of the beginnings of how the Red Queen get to be the Red Queen and why she is like that. Hi, Sophia from the future here fixing the mistakes of Sophia of the past, as always. Um, I'm gonna keep saying Red Queen. It's actually not. It's a retelling of the Queen of Hearts. I read Alice in Wonderland in Spanish and I don't know why my brain meets those two up when they are like, it's told in the book a hundred different times that they are two different characters. So it's a retelling of the Queen of Hearts. I. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I heard it's emotional. I love when bad characters are the main character of the story and even though she probably isn't bad yet, she's gonna turn into a villain and oh, these are my favorite stories. It's like the Maleficent movie. I love it because it tells you why she's like that and the motive that the villain has and I just love that trope or kind of books. I don't know how to explain it. This book is gorgeous by the way and then we're reading the book that you are probably <laughs> tired of seeing that's why i wanted to put these two books together so it's not only the Miserable life of anila rue by b.e shrap this has been one of the most anticipated release of lots lots of people on booktube i received this book in my last vlog if you want to go see me cry and scream um go i will link it up here that edition of adi la rue is the forbidden planet one i wanted to get the water stones one but i forgot to pre-order and when i went to buy it it was sold out the beautiful queen from pages of queen on instagram answered my super runty story and she was so kind she had two of these copies for a reason, I don't know, but she had two copies and she kindly sent me the Waterstones edition. I cannot be like more grateful towards her, she literally saved my life here. She sent it to me and you are an angel. I don't know if you're watching this queen, but you are an angel. This week is the first week that I have to do like presential classes, so I actually have to go to my university. My classes start at 8 a.m., but that's like rush hour, so I have to leave my house so I don't get traffic today i found lots of traffic so tomorrow i have to wake up even earlier like at 6 30 i'm gonna be so tired so i had to take pictures for bookstagram and my room is a mess look at all my books so i guess we are just gonna organize um this mess and then i'm gonna try to read a little bit more of heartless I read 100 pages on Heartless and I'm loving it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I have always loved Alice in Wonderland. I've read the two books, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. So many times, it's made me so emotional. I get this epic feeling when I'm reading it. I don't know every single thing Josiah says, like the Josiah Cat says in the book. I'm like, that's a quote, that's a quote, like that's iconic. I'm anticipating what is gonna happen for Kat to become our 
off with their heads queens i have plans today i'm meeting with my friends but i wanted to read a little bit before going and for adi la rue i haven't even started i'm just so hooked up into this one i'm a little bit scared of starting adi because some people on instagram are posting about how slow is for them and me loving heartless as much as i'm loving it can't clash with my experience today is a super rainy day outside so it's so cozy and I want to stay here as an introvert I want to stay home because I don't really want to go to meet my friends but then when I'm with them I'm like oh I'm so freaking happy I just got home it's 10 30 on a weekday I'm crazy but this is how the coronavirus is making me act because it's the only time I have to see my friends it's so rainy windy dark outside I was so scared of driving all day and tomorrow I have to wake up at 6 in the morning so I haven't vlogged the whole week since it hasn't been the easiest week in my life but I thought today is my last day going to class and I will queue a little bit through my day I just woke up, I'm still wearing my peaches I'm probably gonna wear my peaches to class Let's all be honest And now I'm gonna have to drive there I wish I thought I would like to go to class Like presential class But I would rather stay online all year We're ready, it's okay It's so dark outside Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I just arrived safe and sound. No one is here yet. The parking is empty. And I'm gonna stay in the car for a few minutes and then I will go to class and try to have a better day than yesterday. <laughs> Vamos a pedir el papel o tijera como hicimos en el vídeo anterior vale. para que se vuelva a repetir. Venga. <risa> Espera, uno, dos, tres. Vale. Un, dos, tres. 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 Va ganando, ¿no? Un, dos, tres. Un, dos, dos. Eh, eh, voy. Ahí. It's been a long time since I vlog. So sorry about it. I was supposed to read Adi LaRue and Heartless for last week, but I just got into a mini reading slump. I wasn't really feeling reading. I had a lot of things to do. I'm also trying to open in the future an Etsy shop, which I want to show you next. I've always liked calligraphy and my bullet journal. This has been in the talking for the longest time. At some point, I really want to do dust jackets for books. And I've been working on that lately that's why i haven't been reading a lot clean my room i have to organize my closet and then tonight i'm gonna try to stop watching all the tv shows that i've been watching like stop doing that and trying to get in the reading mood again as well as some editing i need to do some editing yeah also sorry for my super dark circles i haven't been sleeping a lot lately either so let's go And I thought I will finish the reading vlog here. I didn't read a lot, a lot, a lot in this reading vlog because I was struggling with university and some personal stuff. Um, but I finished Heartless by Marisa Mayer and I absolutely love it. Five out of five stars. The ending, I actually kind of knew what was happening. I guessed what was happening. But nonetheless, Marisa Mayer, you are what you did there, the twist that you did in the end. I loved it. Another tiny thing that I didn't really enjoy is that Catherine, which is the Queen of Hearts, is portrayed as a strong, brave hearted woman. But at the end of the day, just the male character is saving hair all the time, which doesn't really work. I love the idea of it. I love the characters. I love the romance. I loved everything. And then for Adi LaRue, I don't even know where it is here. Adi LaRue, I'm having feelings about it. And I want to be truthful. I could just come here and say that I don't like it, but that's so far from their truth. Nearly 200 pages in. I have always loved Victoria Shops 
writing because it sounds lyrical but I think she went a little bit overboard with it I don't know if it's because the book is in English which is another factor sometimes my head is just like not working in English I'm just thinking that it's not a book I can binge read like for example Heartless because I'm really excited about it um, it might be a book that can take like a few weeks to read and I'm okay with that so I'm gonna continue because I'm liking it it's such a weird thing um, it never happened to me before and it never happened to me with Victoria Shops the closest thing to it was uh, the first time I read Our Dark Do It the second part of the Savage Song also by Victoria Shop I had to DNF it because I wasn't feeling it but it's not the same problem I don't know how to explain it I wanted to read these so fast maybe it was that just I have so much like high expectations for it but I'm okay I will finish it I think that's gonna be all for today guys um, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog probably as messy as always <laughs> but um, I hope you liked it for the next book will be about my birthday and maybe halloween and also my first november reads so i'm excited about that if you want to keep updated with my reads and follow me on other social media i will link everything down below we can be friends on goodreads i post reviews there too and i'm active daily on my bookstagram uh, which is called tiny on universe same as uh, this channel and please give it a like comment subscribe all the pretty things you can do that help this channel and without further ado that's everything for it love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye